when he's like, this guy's my hero. <laughs> I kept turning around to this little Malaysian driver. I said, you drive, you just drive this thing, get it the hell out of here. And he kept turning back saying, no, no, we stay. And just kept saying, we have to stay here. I, and I couldn't figure out, I, I thought everything was, you know, once the vehicles got there, we were gonna take off and leave. But I didn't know that, you know, walkout was still in the aircraft. We had to, we had, when we got in trouble that night, we had to ask the United Nations to come help out, which they did, and again, I can't thank enough the Malaysians for what they did that night. Um, and other forces from the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division fighting their way to get to us and fighting by, their, by our side that night. So we asked the United Nations if they would help us. And the United Nations, uh, a couple of countries from the United Nations showed up with armor and uh, tanks. The Malaysians came with their armored personnel carriers and the Pakistanis came with a couple of tanks and they met us all at our base and at about 11 o'clock that night we all drove back out there together. The Malaysian armor personnel carriers, I can't, I can't compliment these guys enough for their courage. They basically kept a driver and a gunner in those vehicles and then handed the rest of it over to us and said, we'll, we'll go wherever you ask us to go. We'll do whatever you ask us to do tonight. We're here to help out. The Pakistanis in their tanks not so much. They rolled in there, got shot at a time or two, and rolled right back out of there and left the Humvees and these Malaysian APCs in the city streets. In the rescue operation, one Malaysian soldier died when an RPG hit his condo vehicle. 19 American forces and one Pakistan army were also killed. Meanwhile, 73 Americans, 7 Malaysian and 2 Pakistanis army were wounded. Somali casualties were heavy, some estimate around 2,000 militias and local civilians. The battle was over by the next morning. US forces were finally evacuated to the UN base by the armored convoy. Two weeks after the battle, US general officially accepted responsibility. In a handwritten letter to President Clinton, the general took full responsibility for the battle's outcome. He wrote that the army had adequate intelligence for the mission and that the objective of catching the target was met despite sustaining heavy casualties. On the Malaysian side, Lance Corporal Mat Aznan Awang was a 33-year-old soldier from the 19th Battalion, Royal Malay Regiment of the Malaysian Army. He was posthumously promoted to proper rank. While driving a Malaysian Condor APC, he was killed when his vehicle was hit by an RPG in the early hours of 4th October. Corporal Ma'aznat Awang was awarded the Sri Palawan Dagah Perkasa Medal for his service.